Okay, good morning. Um, let me see, can you hear me right? I hope so. Um, let me see, can I put something there? No. <clears throat> okay. Good morning. This is the second time live today. Patricia is not here. Uh, second time live since we went to Peru. Um, Patricia is not here because she has um, some flu, and which is perfect because it helps cleaning, cleansing, everything. Um, I got my present uh, from Peru, and I got my, my headband and my bracelets and my belt for protection to take, uh, not to take away, but to protect from other energies not needed by me. Um, I keep my hand on my heart and I will demonstrate how we can help you to put your hand on your heart today. And I've got a little program. Um, again, uh, it's not important if you see this actually live, um, but it's, it can help. Um, at this moment, I'm uh, not watching anything uh, for uh, the life uh, where it's actually been, but um, maybe that's not a real English. I'm not watching it, only watching it on StreamYard, um, this live. So we're still working out. There are some changes we uh, had with... Um, uh, paid um, commissions for the stream yard and things like that. So we're still working things out. Um, but it will be improving every week. So every, every time it's learning again how to uh, treat this, how to work with this. Um, yeah, so uh, and Patricia is watching i see so maybe you can tell me if the sound is okay because i'm um, not hearing myself of course i'm hearing myself but not on the recording and um i made a little program um of a lot of programs more like, like a list of little topics what i want to do and uh, thank you patricia and uh, what i want to talk about so um, first take some coffee, this is for us it's still uh, like jet lag time, it's already two weeks, two and a half weeks, but it's still every morning it's like, oh, it's early, and 10 o'clock is for us uh, nowadays really early, so have a sip of coffee, good morning. And what I want to talk about is a few things which are very, very important for us. And not only important, but also very good um, helping, supporting us in our path. And one of these things is that um, we believe and we trust and we are convinced that the universe is perfectly orchestrated. The source has has been creating this beautiful universe, this compilation of universes, and each and every one of us on this planet, but in, on every planet or wherever they are as a being, is at the right moment uh, of time and space or at the right position or in the right combination of connections. And I also believe that everything is like a chain, it's like everything is connected so it creates this chain and we are each part of this chain so everything is perfectly orchestrated so everything is done at the right moment in time for the earth people um, and therefore whatever happens is for the greater good is perfect it's only our mind which creates um, an impression that something is wrong or that we are lacking something or that we need something because the mind is um, bombarded <laughs> on this planet with information which is 
not really interesting because it's not connected to the heart. This all this information is created to disconnect from the heart. So going back that everything is perfectly orchestrated, we can, um, of course, then we have to trust in this. And that's a, that's a harder nut case. We have to really put effort in that. And every time we feel that there's something near and um, eating from this trust, we have to go inside into the heart, connect to the heart, really connect, not only the hand, but also mentally connect to the heart, go inside and see what's eating this trust and then put light and love to it. So this is basic. Um, so first, everything is perfectly orchestrated. Secondly, you have to trust that everything is perfectly orchestrated. If something is eating the trust, you have to dive into your heart, your inner world and see what is uh, what's happening there and whatever is happening there you can put light and love so these are little, little basics but to do that i always put my hand on the heart and i'm always nagging about put your hand on your heart and even i forget to put my hand on my heart and sometimes i make a little joke of having uh, duct tape so i was looking the translation up uh, scotch tape in this case i got 3m and I almost say to everybody, because working with two hands is not working, but we can create a situation. Let me put the hand on the heart, and I will take two times. And I will demonstrate what I'm always joking about. So I have to do this for a moment. I almost lost my coffee there. And I put my hand on my heart. Let's see how it works. And I put the duct tape there. Now it will be getting more interesting. And I show you how it's... This is the hand on the heart continuously. So I only have one hand free now. I still can use the coffee. And I can... Let's see if I can show it a little bit better. So this is the hand on the heart continuously. So, and this is the basic step for us because the hand on the heart creates immediately a connection to your higher self and to the source and to your helpers or a team of helpers around your higher self. And this immediately, um, puts the mind on a second place directly. Just putting your hand on your heart. You can try it, feel it, experience with it. For us, it's really proven and it works. <laughs> putting your hand on your heart um, has the great advantage that you still have your intelligence, but you don't have everything from this. And that's the intelligence. The mind is creating past and future and mind uh, thoughts and all this crap which is not needed to be in the now being in the now uh, being in the now um, is um, one of the most important things and we have also uh, been lucky that lately we've found uh, Eckhart Tolle's books and he's doing exactly he's writing exactly what we are doing so we're not alone in this, but putting your hand on your heart makes the mind on a secondary place and creates a direct connection to your higher self and to the source. And therefore you are more aligned. And this is important with your soul path. And the soul path is the thing. It's like the, the, uh, the happy path. And the Native Americans are talking about walking beauty. And for me, that's the soul path, the red um, uh, the Red Road, the Camino Rojo, is what the Native Americans are using for being aligned. And this being, be, being, being aligned helps you to have, understand that all the information around you is just something on this planet, which is not important. It's only the information in your inner world, which is important. So the more you are connected the easier it is get to getting into trust 
<coughs> sorry, is getting into trust. And therefore, it's easier to trust the trust. And then it's easier to know and understand and believe and live that everything is perfectly orchestrated. So connecting your hands and your heart. And this is just one uh, tool I know. Of course, if you break your arm, you can have from the doctor some, we call it in, in Dutch, a mitella. I um, don't know if it's, a, it's the same word in English. But then you can keep your hand on your heart all the time. Still, you still have to connect with your inner world to your heart. But that helps. These are little, little tricks. And I wanted to demonstrate it because I'm telling everybody, put duct tape on your hand and blah, blah, blah. So here it is. I got the duct tape on my hand. And I see a question from Patricia. She said, can you share what is changed by you in my world, in my life? Um, well, wow, this is like a whole uh, recording on separate, uh, a whole separate recording, but it changed a lot. It's the, the hand on the heart is, is like um, being aware that everything around you is like created to disconnect. The hand on the heart um, so that changed a lot for me. My life was always like fighting against the system, authority, employees, uh, employers. Um, I was always like uh, in in this balance, and by continuously putting the hand on the heart, to be pure, communicate purely uh, as possible when possible uh, directly when, when instantly when it's something is happening in my system i communicate what is happening in my system and with the hand on the heart i can do that without um, offending or attacking somebody else but just keeping the information for myself so that's a big change um saying that everything is perfectly orchestrated having the tool of the hand on the heart um, then the basis is trust and for millions and millions of years or very 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 long longer time than our historians are telling us we are living here so the many many times this planet has been restarted our souls have been here and everything was created to eat from the trust. So we are really in a low energy of trust. So what I want to do is to create some codes to help assist everybody on this planet to come back in their trust and to take away uh, as much as possible of the barricades, of the blockages, of the programs of the infiltration of the implantates um, of this trust uh, which are holding the trust away from you so that if you put your hand on your heart if you connect inside that you can refine your trust which is in there in your inner world so for this i would like you to put your feet next to each other Put your hand on your heart if you've not already done that. Close your eyes. This is only, we can see it later, but this is only to really get deeper inside. And then with your closed eyes, I can give you the codes for deep, deep, deep trust. Trusting that everything is perfectly orchestrated, that you are at the right spot, at the right moment in time, chosen by your higher self, your source. And that everything which is disconnecting you from this trust will fade away. More deeper trust. I don't know if you felt it in the same way, but this was rather powerful. So let it just integrate in your system. 
trust that this will go deep, deep, deep into your system. And while we're still integrating, you call upon all your inner child, inner child of all these millions of years and all these duplications of your inner child. We call upon them to form circles around you. So that they also can get the same trust programming to go to sheep. So you can open your eyes again if you're ready. If you want to, can, you can keep your eyes, your eyes closed and just let it integrate. If you see this on a later um, moment, the power, the power of the coach is continues. It's not fading away. So the basis remains to keep your hand on your heart as much as possible. Of course, if you need to drive or do something when you need two hands, it's not possible. But for the rest, if possible, 24 hours um, a day, all, every day. Um, I also put a, a hand on the heart when I'm um, when the mind is running and I can't go to get into sleep. I put the hand on the heart and it immediately makes the mind slow down and makes it calmer so that there's space for just relaxation and time to sleep. So just figure out for yourself how it can help you for the best. Um, if you have any questions on putting your hand on your heart, how to do it, when to do it, or whatever thoughts you have, you can share it with us. You can connect to us and I will put a banner for that on so that you can see our website. We have a website, Patricia is still working on it. And um, with this website, we like to reach out to the world so that people can um, experience the same uh, beauty what we are experiencing. And um, we made a program for that. Um, we thought about a lot about uh, this in Peru. And uh, how to reach more people and how people can be helped. And one of the things which popped up in there was the uh, what do I want page. And this is uh, a lot of people like to have healings or, but what we experience is that like, like the codes I just gave to you, they really work, but you're, they're so um, widely created and, what we what most people need is like very specific laser beamed information which is helping you to find your own path or walk better on your own path and let's to let go more of the distractions and these are like um fine-tuned especially for you or for a spe specific family line or things like that and so we were figuring out how to, uh, how, what's best to do to help you. So we created like an, uh, like an entrance uh, with this page on the website. Uh, what do I want? You can allocate a half an hour on Zoom with Patricia and me or together. And then we can um, talk you through what is, uh, what we see in your energy field. And what you, what we, we can give you a suggestion of how to, um, handle that and what to do. So it's like a free introduction of our work. Um, I think it's very powerful to uh, have this opportunity and it's open. So please be aware of it and uh, try it out. So, and if you know somebody else who needs or can help, can be helped a little bit or needs a little push in the back or hand on the heart, let them know. Because this is for uh, the, the greater good for, for the wider audience. <coughs> so um, if you want to support us, you can always subscribe to YouTube. And somehow I can't write this all down, but maybe you can put the video on still and write down 
where you can look at uh, YouTube for inner source and um, you will find us. And then you can subscribe and every time we put a video on, you can find it there. And there are a lot of uh, older videos which you can still watch. And all these codes are still valid. But we are um, convinced that it's more direct, it's more specific, specifically tuned for you if you have guidance in your specific situation. So that's a little bit of like uh, commercial, but it's necessary, I think. People need to know what we are doing and how we are doing it. And we are working in Galicia more and more uh, with the local uh, communities. So we have to think more and more how to reach people and what to do with that. So that's uh, a little um, way how we work on online. And of course, we have sessions. My preference is always five sessions. I had a vision of a, a bread, piece of bread, which you tear in five pieces, so the, the information translated in my system that people need five sessions. And after working for a couple of years with these five sessions, I understand that these five sessions need to be because even if they're um, not obviously connected, they are connected and you need to get the whole uh, <laughs> to change your way of uh, walking your path. And so we talked a little bit about Peru all the time and this I will talk a little bit about Peru because for me Peru was like... Um, uh, of a deeper alignment with the red path, the path of walking beauty, with the Lakota Indians, um, with the Sundance over there. And for me, it was really like deepening the information on that part. If you want to have more information on this, please connect to us. Uh, we can share it, but we don't share it uh, widely. We share it only personally so that we have uh, specific questions which we can give specific answers for. Um, well, the inter interaction is not really there at the moment because I had uh, Patricia saying, uh, asking a question and then um, I'm not sure who is watching at this moment. You can always ask for um, a specific part you want to work with. But I think the best way is what we just uh, explained to you. Uh, and that's the, uh, the page on our website, which is down uh, on, on the line here on, under it. Uh, what do I want? There you can easily go to a calendar and in the calendar you can say, okay, this is perfect. Uh, I want on this specific date, specific time, I want to see you. And then we create a Zoom, you get the link, and we have a Zoom connection. And in this Zoom connection, we can interact with you. And then we can specifically tap into your, with of course, with your permission, tap into your field and feel, understand, and get information uh, as a medium through us channeled. And then we can give you guidance in this. And if you like that, you can always proceed with us or find it for another. Uh, other way to find your uh, your path, uh, your yeah, your guidance. Uh, I believe that it's good to have uh, help in this, but if you feel that you can do it all by yourself by picking up cherries from the internet, it's also perfect. It's everybody will find the right way to work because everything is perfect. So um, we have a beautiful day here in Galicia. Sun is shining. Will be warm. I hope that everybody will have a beautiful day with a lot of sunshine because sun is energy. It will it not only heatens our system, but it also brings a lot of nurture and fit vitamins in connection with the solar systems. Um, what I want to do is to give you codes for a lot of love, light. So again, close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and your feet next to each other. And these are codes which are helping you, guiding you to find the love and light in your system.
at home. Please let some comments on this um, on this recording. Did you like it? If you whatever you feel about it, just share it with us. And we will be back on next Friday, 10 o'clock Madrid time, AM. And we hope you love it. And we hope you like it. And we hope to speak to you soon. Thank you very much.